Super Mike Allen here, hoping you live a lot longer and have put a lot of life into those years. Let's dive right in. Let's look at the top 10 reasons why you want to make sure you maintain a healthy gut. Maintaining a healthy gut is crucial for overall well-being. Here are some of the key benefits to having a healthy gut. Number one, improved digestion. So a healthy gut ensures efficient digestion and absorption of nutrients. That's really important. Absorption of nutrients means if you're putting all the good stuff in your body, that your body can actually use it. So if you're putting vitamins, minerals, all that in there, then you want to make sure that you are able to use it. So this reduces issues like bloating, gas, and constipation. None of that do you want. So number two, you get enhanced immune function by having a healthy gut. A significant portion of the immune system resides in the gut. You may be surprised about that. A healthy gut helps defend against pathogens and supports immune response. Number three, you'll have better mental health. There is a significant connection between the gut health and the brain health. And so that gut brain access links your gut and mental health. A healthy gut can improve mood and reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. And there are links also that having a healthy gut can help with fighting off things like Alzheimer's and all those things where your brain is completely messed up because of the lack of nutrients. So we can get you all there, better mental health. Number four, weight management. A balanced gut microbiome can aid in weight management by regulating metabolism and reducing inflammation. Number five, reduced inflammation. A healthy gut prevents chronic inflammation, which as you know is linked to various diseases, including heart disease and diabetes. So you wanna reduce as much inflammation in your body as possible, getting as much anti-inflammatory stuff in ya so that you can fight off all that inflammation and you'll not be sick. Number six, increased energy levels. Proper nutrition absorption, so being able to use all that stuff that you're eating, reduced inflammation can lead to higher energy levels and reduced fatigue. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of your gut. Number seven, skin health. Gut health is connected to skin conditions like acne, uh, eczema, rosacea, and healthy gut can improve skin appearance and reduce flare-ups. So you'll feel good and you'll look good feeling good. I always like that. You know, I do. Number eight, you get better sleep. So gut health influences sleep patterns and quality, potentially improving overall sleep. And if you're not having gut issues that's keeping you up and making you go and spend all night in the, the restroom, then you're going to feel much better and get a much better night's sleep. And if you aren't, you know, with the tumbly rumblies and the uh, all the other stuff you can go with that, that can keep you up at night too if it's loud enough. Number nine, hormonal balance. A healthy gut supports hormone regulation, impacting everything from mood to metabolism. And that's going to be really important. And then coming in at number 10, brr, 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 number 10, enhanced nutrient absorption. A well-functioning gut maximizes the absorption of essential vitamins and minerals, contributing to overall health. So how to maintain a healthy gut? Isn't that important? Diet, including uh, fiber-rich foods, probiotics, prebiotics, and fermented foods in your diet. If you're looking for probiotics or prebiotics, you can get them from supermikesupplements.com. Okay. And then number two, I guess would be the number two way to help with a healthy gut is hydration. Drink plenty of water to aid in digestion. Number three, exercise, regular physical and activity promotes gut motility. And then number four that we're on, stress management reduces stress through mindfulness, yoga, and meditation. So you can reduce your stress and that's going to reduce the problems that you're having with your tummy. That's what we're saying here, basically. Get a good night's sleep. I think that's number five. Ensure adequate and quality sleep. And number six, avoid excessive antibiotics. So using antibiotics only when necessary, obviously only when prescribed by a doctor, but they do disrupt the gut microbiome. So that can be very problematic. So maintaining a healthy gut is the cornerstone of good health, impacting various aspects of your physical and mental well-being, just as I was saying there. So you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to keep that gut healthy. And again, you can get stuff from me over at my store. So just super quick, I'm over here at supermikesupplements.com. You can't really see that, but it is where I am. And then if you go over here to gut health, which is digestive health, you'll see all the different things that you can get. This one's a digestive enzyme. It's just slightly out of, let me see if I can get that in. There we go, now you can see all of them. There's birch chaga that's really good for it, and birch chaga truffles, chaga mushroom, digestive enzyme, pro blend, there's green superfoods, max detox, uh, moringa pure, you remember, remember that from the other day, is really, really healthy for you, platinum turmeric, superfoods, and then ultra cleansing turmeric. And of course, you also can get probiotics and prebiotics 
I have the probiotic 20 billion and 40 billion and then uh, that one also has prebiotics with it and if you're trying to get a blend of prebiotics the probiotics with the prebiotic blend or you can also get them in fermented mushrooms let's go over here and wrap up maintaining a healthy gut is very important for your overall health it will help with your actual digestion and with the absorption of minerals and vitamins so if your body needs the fuel and it needs the energy and needs all those things then your body can't do it if your digestive system is messed up so that's why it's very important to make sure that you do all the things necessary for good digestive health and that's why i mentioned this all today because i want you to add years to your life and add life to your years i'll see you guys in the next video later there